Okay, so let us try to understand this particular question. In the following figure, P and Q are the points of intersection of the two circles with centers O and O dash. These are the two points of intersections. If straight lines APB, APB and CQD are parallel to O O dash, we have to prove that O O dash is equal to half of AB. Let us try to attempt this first part. For this, let us try some construction. If we drop a perpendicular from center O on AB, or even better, let us call it AP. If I drop a perpendicular from O on AP, AP is what? AP is the chord of the smaller circle, right? Similarly, let us drop perpendicular from O dash on AB. Again, instead of AB, let us call this PB. Okay. Let us also assume that the points that we get are M and N. Okay. So now, if AP is the chord of smaller circle with center O and I have perpendicular drop OM, then we have the property that perpendicular drop bisects the chord, which means that M becomes the midpoint of AP, right? Similarly, N becomes the midpoint of PB. With this condition, let us try to look at the quadrilateral O, O dash, N, M. This quadrilateral O, O dash, N, M should now become a rectangle. And why is that? Because it is already given to us that APB and OO dash are parallel. Other than that, we also know that these angles, angle O, M, N and angle O dash, N, M are perpendicular. This makes our quadrilateral a rectangle. So now, if OO dash, N, M is a rectangle, then this implies that OO dash should be equal to Mn because these are the opposite sides of a rectangle, right? Now, Mn can be further written as Mp plus Pn, right? But since we have already seen that M is the midpoint of AP, so I can write Mp as half of AP. And also, since N is the midpoint of PB, I can write PN as half of PB. If you combine these two things, what will you get? You will get half of AP plus PB. But go back to the figure, AP plus PB. This will combine to form what? This will combine to form AB, right? So you should get half of AB, which is equal to OO dash. This is your first part. Now let us try to understand the second part. In second part, I have to show that AB is equal to CD. Right. So again, what we do, let us drop perpendiculars on CQ and QD from O and O dash. Let us call these points R and S. So now R becomes the midpoint of CQ and S becomes the midpoint of QD using the properties of chord. Now proceeding in the similar way, you can again see that the quadrilateral O, O dash, S, R will again become a rectangle, which means that O, O dash will again become equal to R, S. Again, I can break RS as RQ plus QS, which can be further written as half of CQ plus half of QD, right? If you further combine these two things, it will become half of CD, right? So now your O O dash is also equal to half of CD. So from these two equations, what can you conclude? We can very easily conclude that AB 
should in fact be equal to CD. Hence proved.